Hey, 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 beauties. Um, this is Faith from Flow and Faith Ministries. Um, nice to meet you guys. <laughs> but um, I came on here to share a bit of my testimony with you guys and encourage you, um, ladies. Um, so I'm gonna start off just by saying, um, I grew up in Detroit, Michigan. Um, since I was born to the end of my middle school years. Um, and growing up in Detroit, it wasn't always easy. Um, I know my family, I had a loving family, um, but I seen so much growing up um, throughout my life. I seen my sisters getting abused um, by boyfriends. Um, I see my mom getting abused by my dad. Um, I seen disputes. Um, with family members, I seen like I heard arguing. I it was so much that I witnessed growing up um, that I that a child should never witness, be able to witness. Um, and it was so it took a toll on me growing up. Um, and my dad wasn't always in my life. Um, he was there, but he wasn't there. I never felt that father's love from him. Um, if I can be transparent with you guys, um, he was an alcoholic. He came home always um, drunk. Um, and saying that as a child was hard. Um, it was a, a particular time where I had to open the door for him to get in the house while he was drunk. And that was hard. It was it was it was really hard. Um and knowing with that, um, I've always searched for love. I've never um I never felt that father's love from um him. So I always search for um as cliche as this may sound, I always look for love in all the wrong places. Um, either from relationships, um just with, I always search for that father figure love. Um, I never had it. I was always jealous of other girls, of other families, with their fathers on Father's Day or just any holiday. Um, I've always felt that, um, why did it have to be me? Like, why did I have to go through all this? Like, why can't my dad be in my life? Why, like, why this? Why that? Why this? Why that? And um, I've always searched for that love. Um, but one thing, I never search for God's love. I never search for, um, Christ's love for me. So, um, it was, it was hard growing up. Uh, and I can say I always grew up in church. Um, but this particular day where I said yes to God. Um, and when I'm saying yes to God, I'm saying yes to his will. I'm saying, yes, Lord, have your way in my life. Lord, take away all this hurt, all this anger, all this depression, all this, um, jealousy from me. And let's be transparent. We all had these times where we were depressed or down and out or jealous of someone. Honest or not, let's be honest with ourselves first. Um, I've had that feeling. I've had those feelings and I had to tell God, yes, to take all these feelings away. It wasn't easy at all, but with God, he can do all things. He can do all things, but fail. So, um, this time where I say yes, truly say yes to God, he began to tear away those walls of depression, tears away those walls of unforgiveness, anger pain, hurt, um, just tear those walls of, um, just bitterness. He began to tear the walls down as I said yes to him. It wasn't always easy and it's not going to be easy, but saying yes to God was the absolutely best thing that I could have ever done. So, um, with that being said, uh, my father died in December, um, and before that, I I was 
I told myself that I wanted to go see him because he lives in Alabama. I wanted to go see him before anything happened. And I didn't. Um, because I didn't want to see him the way that I've always seen him, um, which was an alcoholic. I didn't want to see that. Um, and I praised to God. I was like, God, I do not want something to happen. I did not want him to pass away before I got to say what I had to say to him before I, I got to say, I, um, I got to ask those questions. Um, and trust me, I had questions for him, but I really wanted to increase my relationship with my father, but he passed away before I could do that. And, um, it hurt it so bad. It hurt it. I'm not gonna lie. It hurt it to my soul. Um, because I've always a daddy, a daddy's girl, but it hurt it. It, it, it hurt it to my soul, but God does things so amazing. Um, I miss my dad. I do, but I know the Bible says when your mother and father forsake you, he will take you up. So with my dad passing away, I felt, um, some hurt and pain. But I knew that I had a father in heaven who took me up when my dad passed away. He's always there. My father in heaven is the best father in the world. So I knew that I had I had a father's love that I've been searching for. I've had it all along. And I didn't know because I didn't search for it. So the Bible says, You will find me if you search for me with all your heart, all your soul, all your might. So you have to search for God. You have to search for him if you want to find him. So I I just thank God just for him never leaving me nor forsaking me. Um, and I, I want to encourage y'all, you ladies. To stop searching for love in other guys, um, in other men, and start searching for God's love because He is the man. So if you all are, if you do not have your father in your life, I am praying for you because I know that it's not easy because I've I've dealt with it. Um, but just know God is always there; He will never leave you nor forsake you. He loves you. Do not settle for less. Do not settle for just um, I love you or just um, he bought me this or bought me that. Know who you are in Christ before you try to find yourself in a man. God will direct you he loves you um know that you are beautiful you are worth it you are worth the wait do not settle for just a minute of pleasure a minute of sin because one minute of sin can turn your whole life around so just Continue to trust God, believe God, that he will bring you through any hurt, any pain, any bitterness, any anger, any any unforgiveness. God will do it because he can do all things but fail. So know that I love you. I'm praying for all of you, all my beauties. I'm praying for you and continue to flow in faith.